What's up guys? So I had no intentions of filming today, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, Sue shit me up to grab some photos of the Urus because he's selling it. I was like, yeah, of course, I got you. And then he was like, you could drive it too. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be a vlog. I have to capture this. So bring the camera, I'm gonna get some photos. I'm gonna whip the Urus and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm gonna take you guys along the way. And then uh, second half of the video is gonna be the Q&A that I posted on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me, follow me right here. Whenever I do a QA, and a I'm gonna post the story and uh, you guys can leave your, your, your questions and then I'm gonna feature you in the video if you ask the questions. So I appreciate all you guys who asked me questions. I'm gonna be answering those later. And uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go shoot the Yuri. Yo, it, check yeah. out that work. Yeah, it's like LT, baby. Yeah, it's like it. Code LT. Location. Uh, Location Belgium. Yeah, Belgium. Hey, tell them about the New York shoot. Yeah, we're going to New York. We're going to Times Square to do a shoot, which is awesome because uh, Eric and Sue's never been to New York and I've been wanting to take them. Keep touching my face, I don't know why. And uh, yeah, so now we have an actual reason to go, not just, not just fucking around. So that's gonna be sick. Can we say what it's for? Nah. Oh right, yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about. You fucked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're gonna go shoot. I'm gonna take you guys with us. That's a nice feeling. Adjust your seat. Hey, for those watching, rent this car in Turo. Yeah. That's literally why we're shooting, because he's uh, so he's just putting it on Toro so that people can rent it when they come to Houston. So if you're coming to Houston and you want to rent a car, you have how much? Um, I don't know yet, but around like a thousand a day. Yeah, so think about it. If you have like five friends, right? You get an Airbnb, you need a car. This can like add to the experience, you know? Look, and you get Starlight feature you get a too. You get a Yuris with fucking stars on the roof. Like this? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Like that's just a roof? Yeah. Uh, you don't have rear view in your car? Past my Nissan. Yeah, I got rear view, bro. Oh. Well, why were you looking backwards? Not that old. You were looking back. You always look back, no matter what. I don't look back. I don't know. I can get used to this, man. A couple more reels. I think it's mine. Oh my god. Dude, this is a vibe. Damn, the sunset and. <laughs> Life, man. Nah, no, go straight, go straight. Watch it. Oh, fuck. Shot. Nice cloud oh, sunset. Wow. Actually, look, wow, that looks, looks really thick. Yeah, my 250 with ND filter. Did I'd rent that. <laughs> I'd rent that. Too. Hey, while we're here waiting, oh fuck, the sweat. New signature shirt. It's, like, it's really like stretchy, like you no know, like a Balenciaga shirt, like a really expensive shirt. That's what this feels like. But you know, like and, uh, so clean, simple, going out shirt. Oh yeah, I guess they are different. Oh yeah, navy. There was one shirt that we've dropped. It was an oversized excellence tee. We took a Gucci shirt and we found the manufacturer and then we did that and we used the Gucci shirt for the oversized. That's what everybody does though. Right? Yeah. And then we, we didn't charge $800 for it though. This is such a good camera. All right, just wrapped up the shoot. Got the shots that we needed for for the Toro. I'm definitely a truck guy. I, I've came to realize that. Like, I have my car now, obviously, and I'm gonna ride that thing until the wheels literally fall off of it. My next purchase, I'm gonna put this into the world, will be a blacked out Raptor, and I'm gonna manifest that shit, and then I'm gonna vlog it too. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get some sushi, and then uh, I'm gonna do a little Q&A when I get home, and that's gonna be the vlog, so. Nothing crazy, but this is spontaneous, and I just wanted to uh, document myself driving the Urus. It was a great experience, thank you. you can drive it on the way back too. I appreciate it, very fun. But and if uh, you wanna experience it too, <laughs> head over to Turo, man. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna vlog sushi, I'm gonna actually enjoy myself. But uh, see you guys back at the crib. Gonna get fucked up, baby! Sake! <laughs> Malo! Alright, we're back. It's like two days later. I didn't film the last two days because we we're busy working and doing shit, but uh, we're about to run a Lexi loading. My podcast, if you're new here, we have, this is episode 25, right? So if you're new, you got a lot to catch up on, but Sushi's here, I'm gonna run a little quick one, me, Sushi, and Harry, uh, just chop it up. But uh, yeah, shout out to my sponsor, Blue Mind. There's no zoom on this, but we pretend yeah. to zoom into the camera. <laughs> yeah, Gorilla, Code LT, jewelry, chains, earrings, regiment, Young LA, I'm, I'm leaking, I feel bad, I'm sorry, but this is like- Sorry, Gary. Two drops, but it matches the shorts, so, new hat. So, I'm gonna run the pod, and uh, see you guys after. Hello. <laughs>
What's that? Yeah. Episode 25, Milo. <laughs> what is it? Do you want to attack it? <laughs> That's what it's <laughs> All right, what's up guys? So I'm back home, it is Thursday. I think the last time we filmed was at the podcast two days ago. So this vlog's a few days in the making, but I promise you guys I'm gonna get at least one video out a week. So this is gonna be a Q&A video, which I'm gonna do later. I'm gonna answer all your questions that you guys asked me on IG. But before I get to that, there's something that I've been wanting to talk about that uh, got brought to my attention. So some of you guys know, some of you don't know. About a year ago, I was still working my full-time job doing construction back in New York. And uh, I quit my job to come out here to Texas to chase my dreams, to become full-time content creator, photographer, videographer, all that good stuff. And uh, I did it. And things are working out, obviously. I'm very happy. Uh, I'm, I'm super happy with my job, working with Young LA full-time. And uh, something I preach a lot on my podcast is quitting, quitting your job, right? But the one thing that some of you guys aren't realizing is the key word I use is situational, right? So obviously not everyone could just go in one day they say, hey boss, I quit, and then that's it. They're gonna go chase their passion and they're gonna make it and that's it, and happily ever after. That's that's not how it works. So the key word I use is situational, right? And everyone has a different journey. Everyone's timing in their life is different. And uh, I do encourage quitting your job and chasing your dreams when the time is right for you, right? And everyone's time is different. And I don't knock a nine to five because a lot of things I learned in my nine to five is, is what shaped me into the person I am now. And that money I made at my job is the money that funded my dream. You know what I'm saying? So you do need that job. You need that groundwork. That's where you get started. And when the time is right, then you can quit. Then you could chase your dreams. Then you could turn your passion into your career. But the timing is different for everybody. I just want to make that clear because someone left a comment and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because it was just like, uh, you sound privileged, it's not that easy. Some people are in different situations and stuff like that, which 100% I agree. And that's why it's situational. But I believe everyone eventually reaches that point where it's it's time and you need to make that decision for yourself. And it's 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 been the best decision that I ever made. And I'm grateful for my parents back home supporting me. And let's say things don't work out. I know they're there for me and it's a, it's a beautiful thing. But I just want to clear that up because we do preach a lot about quitting your job, chase your dreams, but trust me, I know it's not, it's easier said than done. It's not that simple. You don't just quit and that's it. So it's situational and I truly believe the time is going to come for everyone and you're going to know it. And that's when you pull the trigger. That's when you make those crazy decisions of quitting your job or moving or uh, going to meet somebody and everyone's timing is different. And I just want you guys to understand that. And it's been something I've been wanting to talk about. But uh, I hope you guys understand that and I don't want to sound privileged because I'm the furthest thing from that and everything I have now is way deserved because of the time I put in. I got nothing handed to me and I grinded my ass off to get to where I'm at right now. And I'm very grateful for the opportunities I was given. And uh, I don't want to keep ranting, but I just want to clear that up and hopefully you guys understand that and someone can relate to that and take something away from it. So love you guys. I'm going to go. Eat some Flex Pro, code LT, and then uh, later tonight I'm going to answer your questions, I'm going to do a little Q&A, so uh, I'll see you guys there. Alright, what's up guys? So it's Q&A time, I got your questions right here, I'm going to pop them up on the screen. So whenever I post a story and it's a YouTube Q&A, you guys can ask me questions and hopefully I pick you to get in the video. I'm going to show your name and everything, so look out for that, follow me on IG. So let's get into the first question. Do you see yourself sticking with photography or are you manifesting more? Um, I don't ever see myself stopping photography or shooting in general, but I do see myself transitioning to more of a creative director role somewhere down the line. That's something I really do want to manifest, become the guy who like creates the vision for the shoots, not necessarily just sh doing the shooting. So uh, yeah, hopefully I could uh, manifest that for, for Young LA. I would love to become a creative director and really uh, come up with the visions and then bring them to life with a, with a team, a team under me, which would be really cool. So, all right, question two. Have you thought about settling down with a girl? If so, when? Right now, that is not even a thought in my mind, sadly. Uh, I haven't met a girl yet that I wanna settle down with, but I'm sure that time will come. But right now I am so focused on work and I'm traveling and I'm just doing a lot. And it sounds selfish, but right now, I don't think a relationship would be the best thing for me. And that's just 
being honest. But I'm not saying that someone can't come into my life and maybe change that, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, right now I'm, I'm not thinking about settling down. If it happens, it happens, but we shall see. All right, question number three. What is your biggest motivation right now? To me, honestly, every day I'm motivated by the people around me, but um, a few weeks ago, I went home and I was with my mom and she was just complaining to me, not complaining, but she was just telling me how uh, the landlord raised the rent back in my house in New York. I don't know, I kind of just hit home with me because out here, everything's just so positive and great things are happening. And then you go home and it just is like a whole other reality that you kind of lose touch of because I'm out here and my mom in, in, in no way is struggling, but she does work two jobs. And something that motivates the hell out of me is just being able to eventually retire my parents. My mom and dad both still work full time. My dad does construction still, manual labor, and my mom works two jobs. Something that motivates the hell out of me is just knowing someday that I will be able to retire them. And I, I say will because I know I will with just how hard I'm working and my worth ethic and I'm just, I'm never gonna stop until I can. Yeah, so definitely my, my biggest motivation is to give back to my parents who've done literally everything for me and they supported me to move down here and chase my dreams. So the best way I could repay them is to one day make sure that they don't need to work anymore and I can take care of them. I know it's gonna come, so I'm gonna keep working hard until I make that happen. All right, question number four. Dream splurge purchase. Clothing brand, car, jewelry, camera equipment, travel destination? That's a good question. Uh, I honestly don't consider myself materialistic at all. I do like nice things, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't really spend any extra money to get something that just cause it's designer or anything like that, which nothing wrong with people that do. That's just not me. But uh, I feel like a house and all that is, is a given. So I would say a splurge would be a truck that I want. I want uh, a Raptor blacked out, like literally murdered out the whole thing black, windows tinted, black wheels, lifted, like fucking monster truck style. I don't know why, something I've always wanted and uh, someday I'm gonna make it happen and hopefully we can come back to this clip. But uh, that would be my splurge purchase is a fully custom blacked out murdered Raptor without a doubt. All right, question five. What's your favorite meal back home? So if you guys don't know, I'm from New York. So I think it's a given that pizza is my favorite thing in the world, especially when I'm back home. Uh, there's just so many local spots, so many big spots in the city. And literally every time I go home, I, I get pizza at some point. Pizza, favorite meal when I'm back home, without a doubt. All right, last question. When's the September drop coming? And I'm sure he's referring to my shirts, my LT shirts. They're literally right behind this camera in the boxes right there. So I have everything. It's all now just about setting up my website, getting the product shots done and all that good stuff. So they will be available before the 10th. I had a set date for September 10th, but I might actually get them done before that. So keep an eye out for that. Check my Instagram. I'm gonna post a story, but uh, yeah, I promise you guys very, very soon. I literally have the shirts. Now it's just all the back end stuff, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but I promise I'm gonna get it done. But uh, yeah, that is Q&A. This video is like four days in the making, but like I said, I'll get it done for you guys at least one a week so we can get a real schedule going. I'm literally gonna close this camera and go edit this right now. So you guys are watching this on Thursday. Today's Wednesday, it's Wednesday night. But uh, if you guys are still watching, I appreciate you watching another video. This is vlog three and uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Code LT, Young LA, Regiment, Flex Pro Meals, Gorilla Mine. And uh, yeah, I uh, really appreciate you guys. This is a uh, road to a thousand subs, I guess. We're almost there, we're at like 750. Tomorrow we got a big photo shoot. Uh, we rented out this like dope, like post-apocalyptic place. It's outside. You guys will see, it's kind of hard to explain. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna vlog that whole thing. So you guys are gonna get some sick BTS tomorrow. And uh, I'll have that video out next week for you guys. So looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.